Going into this book, I had zero concept what it was actually about. I just knew that I love Marie Forleo. I already wholeheartedly agree with the concept of everything is figure outable, and I wanted to figure out how she turned it into an entire book. I guess that's like the one thing I couldn't figure out. So I've read it, I've done everything in it, and I want to share with you what it's about, my experience of it, and be sure to stick around to the end because I will let you know who I think this book is really for because it ain't for everybody. Welcome back, boss ladies and the few gents in the audience. If you're brand new here, hello. My name is Tara Wagner of exotara.us. I'm a belief breakthrough coach with nearly a decade experience helping women to crush their goals, not their soul. If that sounds like your jam, be sure to subscribe for weekly coaching to help you overcome your own limiting beliefs and the bad habits holding you back from your next level of success. So we got to talk about the book, Everything is Figure Outable by Marie Forleo. If you don't know who Marie Forleo is, after this video, make sure that you go and Google her and probably maybe get this book. I'll tell you at the end, you can decide if it's going to be a good fit for you. Like I said, I had zero concept going into it. I just knew that I wanted to read it and I love everything that she puts out. And so I assumed that it would be something that I would enjoy. So I pre-ordered it. I got it earlier even than expected. I zoomed through it and I'm really excited to put this video together for you. So here's what it is about. The book is called Everything is Figure Outable. Obviously it's about everything being figure outable, but it really goes through every single one of the common obstacles that get in our way of figuring things out, which is like 80% mindset and like 20% mindset. Here's what you can expect from this book. There are 10 short chapters. Almost every chapter has exercises at the end of them. And it's a very easy read. It seems like a big hefty book, but they're all like double spaced lines. And so it's not gonna take forever. You can go through this probably in a day or two if you've got some time to set aside. I would actually recommend for most people, you're gonna wanna go through this like one chapter at a time to really be able to absorb everything and be able to do the exercises. The fact that it is an easy read means that it's not as deep as I had hoped. I was really hoping for like some juicy information, like let's take this concept really deep, let's look at some things to really um, prove the concept maybe. You're not gonna find a lot of research in here, you're not gonna find a lot of complicated ideas, but what it lacks in all of that, it makes up in action. It is such a perfect, actionable book. In fact, I would look at it more as a workbook than a piece of nonfiction. This is not something that you're going to read just to feel good about yourself. This is something that you're going to read to actually put it into practice as soon as possible. And that's really part of what I loved about it. It's really about putting mindset into action. So those of you that know me, you know that I do believe breakthrough work. I'm talking about mindset all the time. And I'm one of my things that I'm passionate about is making it very practical and actionable. So when I'm coaching with somebody, they actually know how to change their mindset. That's what I loved about this is that you have those practical pieces like, okay, all of these concepts are great, but what do I actually do to really absorb them, take them in and make them real for me? She really puts that into place. And I love the, the exercises that she has in the book. There's some really good ones. There's ones that I'm probably going to borrow. I really highly recommend when you're doing the workbook piece of this at the end of every chapter that you really play all out in it and go deep because that's where the magic is. The book is great and it's inspirational and it reads kind of like she would talk in her videos if you've ever seen her Marie TV videos, but the real magic is what you're going to come up with as you're going through the exercises. So do not skimp on those. That being said, I won't say that this will help you to learn how to change your beliefs or change your mindset. It's really just gonna teach you how to view this one concept, this one belief, and change your mindset around that idea. So what was my personal experience going through this book? A lot of the concepts were not new to me. Obviously, 
this is something I've been doing for a while and it's a concept that I've lived for a while. But there were some pieces that really resonated deeply. One of the chapters that she had on refuse to be refused, that one really struck me because one of the things that I've always found frustrating about this concept is that I believe it but so many other people don't. And so I would hit a brick wall over and over again because people just don't understand or view things the way that I would view things. And I didn't really quite get how to get through to people. Like how do I explain to other people that everything is figure outable? And I really picked up some key nuggets in that chapter and just had some of my own aha moments as well in terms of like, you know, approaching things with maybe a little less frustration and like the whole honey versus vinegar approach. I may have also been just a little bit hormonal because there was a couple stories in that chapter that just brought tears to my eyes. Her airport story, totally crying because I could just feel all of the emotion and frustration and anxiety that she was feeling and the story that she told about the Liberian peace movement and the work that those women did just, just hit me in my gut because we can feel like we are up against some major, major obstacles in our life. But when you look at people who are willing to do what those women did to not be refused, it's just so inspiring to remember that most of our problems are first world problems, right? Like they're not that big of a deal. And if we can look at it through that perspective and understand just how easy the problem actually is to solve compared to other bigger problems that are being solved every day, it can really give us the encouragement and the inspiration and the motivation to do the thing. So who is this book not for? This book is not for somebody who is maybe struggling with other mindset issues and want to know how to overcome them. This book is not for anyone who likes a lot of proof, a lot of data, a lot of research to back up what they are taking in. And that's not to say there's anything wrong with that. Certain brains just learn and absorb concepts in different ways, which means this book is just not gonna be for you. This book is really for somebody who, A, probably already knows Marie Forleo's voice, doesn't mind some cuss words. If you don't like the term rando ass biscuits, you will not enjoy this book. However, if you are cool with all of those things and you're ready to really take action and you're feeling stuck, you're feeling like there are no solutions to the problem that you're facing, you know you need the encouragement, the motivation, and some new skills to help you overcome those hurdles, that's who this book is for. So it's definitely not for everybody, but if it sounds like something that you wanna check out, I will drop a link below. And I also just wanna do a shameless little plug for this channel, because if you like Marie Forleo, if you like mindset concepts, if you like practicality, I think you'll really like what we're doing here on this channel. Check out my other videos, subscribe for weekly content, share this with other women who also want to crush their goals, not their soul. Give the video a thumbs up. All of those things help a sister out a lot in the algorithm. And then let me know below what your thoughts are on the concept of everything is figure outable. Do you dig Marie Forleo? Have you read the book and what do you think about it? Or who do you think it's best for? Let me know in the comments below. Fist bump if you watch to the end of this video. Thank you so much and I will see you next week.